Dior Johnson has been on the national scene for a few years now, and at only 16 years old, he's without a doubt one of the most popular players in high school basketball. He is currently ranked as the number one point guard in the 2022 class, according to 24-7 Sports and Rivals.com, and in February of this year, he committed to Syracuse, which has been Dior's dream school since he was in seventh grade. The 6'3 point guard is one of the more highly skilled prospects in the country. Dior is a crafty player with a nose for scoring the ball, but he also possesses a very high basketball IQ, and he's getting better and better every year as a facilitator. Dior is obviously a special talent, but what's scary is that he still has two more years of high school basketball to develop his game. The sky is truly the limit for Dior, and in this breakdown, we'll be taking a look at what makes him such a special player. Dior is very dangerous attacking the basket in transition. He has excellent ball control and speed in the open court, and he changes gears in transition at a very high level. Dior has a unique style of gather dribbles and euro steps like in these clips right here. As you can see, these moves do a great job keeping the defense off balance and out of position. But Dior also protects the ball very well, almost like a running back when he's attacking the basket. His footwork and body control is highly advanced for his age, and Dior finishes around the basket efficiently, which is impressive for a player who plays below the rim. In the half court, Dior shows a lot of potential as a shot creator. Let's stay on the topic of his ability to get to the basket. Dior possesses impressive blow by speed, and he has no problem getting by defenders going left or right. But since Dior is not an exceptional athlete like other top ranked guards, he has to rely heavily on his craftiness, ball handling, and strength when penetrating the defense. He has a lot of moves in his bag when weaving through the defense using spin moves, hop steps, and euro steps effectively. Dior is also a physical guard that has no problem finishing through contact, but I like that he's able to slow things down and use high arcing floaters over the defense. But Dior's shot creation not only applies to his slashing ability, he also does an excellent job using his footwork and handle to create separation on jump shots. Dior is a natural scorer that's capable of making some really difficult shots under pressure. He has a wide array of step backs and snatch dribbles in his arsenal, and he already has an impressive 1-2 to two dribble pull-up game in the mid-range area. He's very confident shooting the ball from the perimeter despite not being the most efficient from beyond the arc. Dior also shows promise as a catch and shoot threat as well. He has no problem knocking down the open shot when his feet are set and when he's consistent with his shot mechanics. My only concern with Dior's jump shot is the noticeable hitch he has in his shooting motion. It may cause issues with consistency in the future if he doesn't fix it, but he's been able to make it work so far at the high school level. Even though he has a score first mindset, Dior's talent as a floor general is undeniable. His court vision and transition is exceptional for such a young point guard. Dior does a good job threading the needle on cross court and bounce passes, and his passes are usually on time and on target more times than not. His handle allows him to get to anywhere on the floor, and this is where Dior is able to collapse the defense and then find the open man. His assist numbers doubled from 2.5 assists per game his freshman year to 5 assists per game his past year for Mayfair. As he matures and develops as a point guard, I only expect for Dior to continue on this upward trend. The biggest area of improvement in Dior's game has to be his consistency from three-point range. Now, I will acknowledge his improvement shooting the ball from his freshman to sophomore year. He shot 34% from three this year for Mayfair, which is a solid improvement from the 29% he shot his freshman year. But even with that being the case, Dior still struggled with consistency throughout his sophomore campaign, largely due to shot selection and inconsistency with his shot mechanics. I already mentioned the hitch in the shooting motion, but Dior occasionally forces up rushed and off-balance jump shots in transition and in a half-court set. He doesn't always get great elevation on his jumper, which has led to some shots coming off the rim short, and it's fairly easy to contest his shot being as though his release is not the quickest. Now, there are plenty of players who have found consistency from the perimeter with unorthodox forms, and that may very well be the case for Dior, but it wouldn't hurt for Dior to potentially tweak his shot mechanics so he won't have to struggle with consistency throughout his basketball career. And a common weakness for young point guards is taking care of the basketball, and this is something Dior needs to work on as well. He averaged three and a half turnovers per game to go along with five assists per game this year for Mayfair, which is not a very good assist to turnover ratio for a point guard. It's obvious that Dior's style of play can cause him to force the issue at times with the ball in his hands, but I'm not gonna be too critical on Dior when it comes to turnovers only because he's still very young. 
Hopefully by the time he's a senior, he should have little issue with valuing the basketball. Well, here's my verdict. Diora is a special young point guard that will most likely still be one of the top players in the country by the time he's a senior. He's a highly skilled player that plays with a grit and confidence that's well beyond his years. As of now, he only has one standout weakness, but the way he's been improving each year, there's a chance that this weakness can potentially turn into a strength. He has the size, skill, footwork, and charisma to be a very special player one day, and I can't wait to see how he develops as a point guard in the years to come.